Hello, my name is Tim, and welcome to the Bioplastic Analysis Series, where we will perform an experimental analysis on the three dumbbell bioplastics you made from your extrusion kit. Our objective is to determine the stress and strain of each bioplastic. In other words, we will measure how far each dumbbell will stretch and how much force it can withstand before breaking. For each bioplastic, we will take a video where we attach one end to a desk and apply a pulling force to the other until it breaks. You will need a phone, a notebook, a force meter that measures kilograms or newtons, a ruler, tape, a marker, a thin metal rod or dowel, and your molds with the three dumbbell bioplastics. They are not shown here, but you will also need a computer, a partner, and two desks or tables. First. Take the metal rod or dowel and make two holes, one on both ends of the wide portion of the dumbbells. Take care when poking your holes through the high gelatin bioplastic, as this one may be more dense than the others and you will have to push harder. If the rod or dowel won't poke through, ask an adult to help you poke a hole with a pen or a thumbtack. Next. Take a marker and mark around the entire neck of each of the bioplastic dumbbells. Make sure the mark is on both the front and back and the sides of the neck region. This is done so that we can measure the distance between the two lines as the bioplastic is stretched apart. This will allow us to measure the maximum stretch of the bioplastic dumbbell. Next. You will record in your notebook the width and height of the neck region of each bioplastic. Hold your dumbbell sideways so that you can see the wide part of the dumbbell. Then, hold it against the ruler along the millimeter mark and record the width in your notebook. Now, hold the plastic dumbbell flat and measure its height in the same way recording the value in your notebook. Measure the width and height of each of the three bioplastics and record it all in your notebook. The measurements of the width times the height will give us the cross-sectional area which will be used in our stress formula in video 2. First, take two tables and move them so that they are 4 to 5 inches apart from one another. Cut two pieces of tape and then take your metal rod or wooden dowel Poke it through one of the previously made holes in your dumbbell, then tape the rod to the tables so that it spans the gap. Take your force meter and attach it to the second lower hole in the dumbbell so that it hangs. Have your partner set up three feet away from the hanging bioplastic with a phone to record the experiment. It is very important that the phone holder rests their hands on a stool or chair so that the frame in the video remains still. Make sure that the video captures the top of the dumbbell and the bottom of the force meter. If not, readjust by backing up. When your partner says they're ready to record, begin by slowly pulling downwards on the force meter until the dumbbell breaks. Repeat this procedure for each of the two remaining dumbbells. Make sure to save the videos. This concludes the method section of our experiment. Join me in the second video where we will collect the results and in the third video where my partner, Max, will interpret and form a conclusion. Thank you.